Hi, this is Marty once again and welcome to my channel. Claro Mayorito Jr. was a Filipino politician, statesman, lawyer, jurist, author, writer, columnist, and poet. Perhaps best known as the President of the 1934 Constitutional Convention and the father of the 1935 Philippine Constitution. He is remembered as a fierce opponent of the U.S. neocolonialism in Asia and for his taunts nationalist leadership throughout his career. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. At para updated kayo sa mga susunod kong videos, please click the bell notification below. At sana po, don't skip the ads and please watch until the end of my video. Noong February 8, 1890, si Claro Mayo Recto, isang kilalang abogado, congressman, senador, nasyonalistang estadista at itinuring na ama ng 1935 Constitution ay isinilang sa Tiaong Tayabas, kasalapuyang lalawigan ng Quezon, kay Don Claro Rito Sr. sa Rosario, Batangas at Donya Micaela Mayo ng Lipa. Pinangunahan ni Recto ang 1934 Constitutional Convention na gumawa ng 1935 Constitution na alinsunod sa tidings Makdafilo. Ang bagong Constitution ay nagtadhana para sa tatlong magkahiwalay at magkapantay na sangay ng pamahalaan, ang Ehekutibo, Legislatibo at ang Hudikatura. Si Recto bilang Pangulo ng Konbensyon ay personal nagharap ng Commonwealth Constitution kay Pangulong Roosevelt para sa kanyang pag-aproba at lagda. Itinaguyod ni Recto ang Rizal Bill na nagtatakda ng sapilitang pagbabasa sa mataas na paralan at mga kolehiyo ng mga nobela ni Dr. Jose Rizal, ang nolimitang here at el filibusterismo na kinalaban ng hierarchy ng Katoliko. Ang panukala ay pinasa ng Kongreso at inaprubahan ng Malacanang noong June 12, 1956 bilang Republic Act No. 1425 na kilala bilang Rizal Law. Recto was considered among the finest minds of his generations through his speeches and writings. Notedly, during his younger days, Rector wrote poetry and plays in Spanish that stressed the need for liberty and independence. His initial fame as a poet came while he was a student at the University of Santo Tomas while studying Masters of Law degree when he published a book Bajos Los Cocoteros Under the Coconut Trees in 1911, a collection of his poems in Spanish. Kabilang sa mga dulang kanyang inakda ay ang La Ruta di Damasco or The Road to Damascus in 1918 at Solo Entre las Sombras, meaning Alone Among the Shadows in 1917, na pinuri hindi lamang sa Pilipinas kundi maging sa Spain at Latin America. Ang parihong mga dula ay ginawa at inanghal sa Maynila sa kritikal na pagpuri noong kalagitnaan ng 1950s. Nagsilbi rin si Senador Recto sa bansa bilang Associate Justice of Supreme Court from 1935 to 1936, Commissioner of Education, Health and Public Welfare from 1942 to 1943, Minister of State for Foreign Affairs from 1943 to 1944, at Cultural Envoy na may ranggo ng Ambassador Extraordinary at Minister Plenipotentiary sa Misyong Pangkultura sa Europa at Latin America noong 1960. Noong October 2, 1960, namatay siya sa Rome, Italy habang nasa isang misyon sa kultura at patungo sa Espanya kung saan gaganapin niya ang isang serye ng mga pagkipag-ugnayan sa pagsasalita. Ang kanyang bangkay ay inilipad pabalik sa Pilipinas at inilibing sa Manila North Cemetery. Si Senador Recto ay may pitong anak sa kabuwan 
apat na anak mula sa una niyang kasal kay Angeles Zamora Silos at dalawang anak na lalaki sa kanyang pangalawang asawang si Aurora Ries. Siya ang lolo ni dating Senator Ralph Recto at kalihim ng pananalapi sa ilalim ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Ipinangalan sa kanya ang Abineda Claro M. Recto, mas kilala bilang Sempling Recto, ang pangunahing lansangan sa hilagang gitna ng Maynila. Shout out and thanks to the comment of Islao Noble from Norsagaray, Bulacan. Also to Perry Adlawan, sabi niya bakit tinawag itong San Guillermo di Akita niya, di ba Benedictine Saint siya, hindi Agustinian. Di kaya San Guillermo di Melival ito, the soldier turned hermit. Nagtatanong lang. Uh, hindi ko rin alam. And also shout out and thanks to the comment of Exora Ekoxa Exano from, I think from Indonesia. So, I tried to Google, ang itinano, uh, his comment is, Cypria Monita in Papua was used as currency before recognizing money made from metal or paper. Uh, thank you very much. Also, also shout out and thanks to the comment of Doridin Ali from Salunayan, Cotabato. And also shout out and thanks to the comment of Kiani. And lastly, shout out and thanks to the comment of Jerry Dahunos from Bangid Abra. And also shout out and thanks to the comment of Wilma Mansanilio. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you very much for watching. And according to a famous quote, Life is too short to wake up with regrets. So love the people who treat you right. Forget about those who don't believe. Everything happens for a reason. If you get a chance, take it. If it changes your life, let it. Nobody said life would be easy. They just promise it would mostly likely be worth it.